Secretary Wilmoth, there's train and equip money requested in this budget, right? Certainly, Congressman. And, and the train and equip mission in Niger is owned by the Army, right? Uh, yes, uh, we certainly provide soldiers for that, yes. General, do you know what is going on in Niger right now? I know there's some challenges over yeah. there in Niger right now, and I don't think the, that we are actually in, in charge of that mission that's on the ground. Well, yeah, we just heard provide. the secretary say you've got soldiers there, so I'm gonna, we're going we're gonna to dive into that to some extent. Do you know what the status is of diplomatic overflights to our installations in Niger? Yeah, I'm vaguely tracking that that's a challenge. Over well, there. yeah, I mean, it's, it's not a challenge. It's binary. Are we allowed right now to do diplomatic overflights in Niger? Yes or no? United States military personnel are stuck in Niger with no way of going back home. In a report issued by Congressman Matt Gates of Florida's first district to the U.S. Congress, there is overwhelming evidence that the Biden administration is actively suppressing intelligence reports regarding the state of U.S. military relations with Niger. According to Gates's findings, U.S. military service members stationed in Niger have reported difficulties in accessing essential resources such as medicine, mail, and other forms of support from the Pentagon. Gates has accused the Biden administration and the State Department of engaging in a significant cover-up, claiming that they are concealing the true conditions on the ground in Niger and effectively abandoning U.S. troops stationed in the country without adequate assistance. Gates's statements suggest a lack of transparency and accountability in the administration's handling of military operations and diplomatic relations in Niger. The situation escalated when Colonel Major Amadou Abdraman, a spokesperson for Niger's ruling junta, publicly denounced the United States and terminated the long-standing counterterrorism partnership between the two countries. Abdraman revoked Niger's agreement, allowing US troops and civilian Defense Department employees to operate in the country, citing violations of Niger's constitution. Despite these developments, the Pentagon has asserted that it is actively seeking clarification regarding the status of the security pact and the future of US military operations in Niger. General Michael Langley, the chief of US Africa Command, has stated that the US government is actively working to obtain clarification regarding the situation in Niger. This statement suggests that there is ongoing dialogue and efforts to address the concerns raised by Congressman. Matt Gates's report. Gates's report accuses the US Embassy in Niger, led by Ambassador Kathleen Fitzgibbon, of covering up the failure of US diplomatic efforts in the country. According to the report, the embassy is alleged to be dismissing or suppressing intelligence from the Air Force's Office of Special Investigations and Special Operations Command Africa. Service members quoted in the report claim that information provided by OSIE about Nigerian sentiment has been discredited by the embassy, despite later proving to be accurate. These allegations raise concerns about the transparency and accuracy of reporting from the U.S. Embassy in Niger and its potential impact on decision-making by U.S. Africa Command and other U.S. authorities. The discrepancy between intelligence reports and the embassy's assessments could hinder efforts to effectively address security challenges and diplomatic relations in Niger. The State Department has denied the allegations made in Gates's report, but has not provided a statement on the record regarding the matter. Report Matt Gates alleges that the Biden administration is suppressing intelligence about the situation in Niger because they are reluctant to admit the failure of their Africa strategy, which invested billions of dollars in the country. According to Gates, Interviews conducted by his office with U.S. service members in Niger reveal that they feel functionally stranded in a country that is becoming increasingly hostile. The report highlights several challenges faced by U.S. military personnel stationed in Niger. These include restrictions on conducting missions and difficulties in returning home at the end of their deployments. The report also mentions that Niger has prohibited flights from entering or exiting the country to support U.S. Department of Defense efforts, resulting in delays in the delivery of essential supplies to Air Base 201, a major U.S. drone base in Agadez. General Michael Langley, the chief of U.S. Africa Command, acknowledges some of these challenges, 
stating that diplomatic clearances for military flights have been denied or not responded to, leading to extended deployments for some personnel. The Pentagon's spokesperson, Pete Nguyen, stated that the sustainment of US personnel in Niger has been maintained through commercial means, and discussions are ongoing with the junta to approve clearances for upcoming regularly scheduled flights. However, despite these assurances, military personnel on the ground have expressed concerns about critical shortages. According to the report, the blood bank at Air Base 201 is not being replenished, which could pose a risk to troops in the event of a mass casualty situation. Additionally, critical medications for individual service members are expected to run out next month. Despite efforts by US personnel to raise these concerns with higher headquarters, such as the US Africa Command, they feel that their concerns are being overlooked or not adequately addressed. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and a sub so you never miss out on any of our videos.